Part 5, Revenue Recognition, What if there is an overall loss on a long-term contract? So, construction in process, or CIP, is an asset account, and billings on construction is a, in process is a liability count. When presented on the balance sheet, these two accounts are netted together. If billing exceeds construction in process, then it is shown as a current liability billings in excess of costs. If construction in process exceeds billings, then it is shown as a current asset costs in excess of billings. Now, again, we have two accounting methods for long-term contracts. We have percentage of completion. We recognize revenue and gross profit over time based on meeting defined milestones, and both the buyer and seller have enforceable rights or completed contract. We recognize revenue and gross profit only after the contract is completed. Now, loss on long-term contract. Loss in the period, but overall the contract will make a profit Percentage completion requires an adjustment to reflect the year-to-date loss. Completed contract, we do nothing until the contract is complete. Estimate overall contract loss. Both methods require that the estimated total loss be booked in the current period. Now we're going to take a look at an example. Now, Shannon Construction has entered into a contract beginning 2019 to build a parking complex. It's going to be $600,000 cost over three years. We're going to bill the customer $900,000. And this is what's happened between 2019 and 2021. We have cost to date, estimated cost to complete, progress billings, and cash collected. So now we'll go through the process. Step one, to determine percentage complete, you need the cost to date and total estimated cost to complete. Here's what we have. Step two, determine the percentage of revenue to record per year. The formula is year-to-date cost divided by the total estimate cost to complete. That's going to give you your percentage. You're going to take that times your revenue, and then you're going to subtract out any prior year revenue that you've already recorded. So we're going to go back and look at our example, and we're going to go to the first year. Total revenue on the contract is $900,000. Determine percentage earned. It would be two seventy dollars divided by six hundred, dollars so it's 45%. And now we can determine the current year revenue to book, which is going to be $405,000. Expense, and it tells us we're going to have gross profit of $135,000 in 2019. Now, 2020, we have total estimated cost of nine twenty. dollars Our contract price is $900,000, so that tells us we have, it, at this time, an overall loss of $20,000. We have already recorded 135000 in profit, so what we're going to have to do is back that out, so we're going to have to recognize a loss in 2020 of 155000 So the revenue to be recognized, we are going to, we're 75% complete, we're going to subtract out the prior year, so we're going to record two seventy. Remember to always adjust for any prior year. Now, to recognize the loss, the journal change for determining construction expense. We're going to credit $155,000 for construction and process account as a reduction, credit the revenue for 2020 of two seventy, dollars and we debit construction expense by four twenty-five. dollars This shows up on the income statement as revenue two seventy dollars minus expenses of four twenty-five dollars gives us our loss of $155,000. Now we're going to go to the next year. We now are predicting an overall loss of $50,000. we are going to subtract out the prior year, and we're going to recognize $30,000 in 2021. 
The revenue we're going to recognize is 900,000 minus the two prior year amounts that we recorded gives us 225. So, to recognize the loss, the journal change for determining construction and process expense, we're going to credit 30000 for the construction and process account as a reduction, credit the revenue account for 2025, and we debit construction expense for 255. This shows up on the income statement as revenue 225, expense 255, giving us a loss of 30000 Now we'll look at our journal entries. This is what they would look like for a percentage of completion. So remember, you book the loss into construction and process, and the revenue based on the percentage complete and the construction expense is the plug. Now let's look at this in the T accounts. That would be 2019, there's 2020. And there's 2021, gives us same balance of 900,000. And then we would clear those out at the end of year three. Now, what about completed contract? What does that look like? So for 2019, we don't do anything because there was a profit. 2020, if the loss is permanent, then you must recognize it. The cost to date is 690. The estimated cost to complete is 920. The contract is 900,000, so we have to recognize a loss for completed contract of 20,000 in 2020. Remember, we recognize the loss, not the revenue. All right, now let's look at 2021. We now have total costs of 950. The contract price is still only 900. We've got a cumulative loss of 50,000. We subtract out what we did the prior year, so now we're going to recognize 30,000. Now we'll take a look at the journal entries. This is what we would look like. Again, all we would do is record our construction in progress, billings on construction, and any cash we receive, but no revenue. Uh, but we would require record our loss in 2020 and 2021, and then finally record the revenue. Remember that when you're doing your homework, and it says that it doesn't qualify for a percentage of completion. You cannot book any revenue, only the loss. So, that's how we get it. Okay, I just had to fix that since we have already recorded 20,000 loss. It's in 2020, not in 2019. For the construction, we would show only a $30,000 loss in 2021. Now we'll look at our two accounts. This is what it would look like for completed contract. And then we do our journal to clear it out. Now, what does this look like uh, in terms of recording revenue versus profit or loss between the two methods? So for percentage of completion, we would book the revenue and then book the loss each year. But for completed contract, remember, no revenue, only the loss. So don't forget that. And that ends the last section for revenue recognition.